Shalom everyone, we're back from the Cozy Corner series and I was resting uh, up on my rooftop today and this was stirring up within me and I think it's really important to share it. Okay, so um, what I have experienced in the 30 years of having received the Lord, 30 years ago I received the Lord, what I have experienced in my life is that um, there are many people who love the Lord who are not functioning from their heart. Um, for example, last night a friend of mine reached out, how you doing? And I shared how I was doing. And my friend replied with the scripture. Now, there is absolutely a time and a place for scripture, and scriptures are food as spiritual beings, absolutely. But then there's a time, Yeshua says, weep with those who weep, where we are just supposed to have available hearts, where we can empathize as human beings with these beautiful hearts, these truly one-of-a-kind hearts that God made so beautifully. And he made us intentionally human. So as much as we are spirit, we are human. And this is what I want to drive home. And this is the problem that I have uh, with the believing community. Um, how can I say this? It's not all believers. It's But this permeates through the body of Christ, we say in the world and in the Messianic community, the body of Messiah. So... Let's say people are drug addicts or alcoholics or um, whatever kind of drug, whatever kind of addiction you have. Well, why do you think you have an addiction? We have addictions because we're not able to deal with our feelings. We have feelings in our heart. And I know for me, before I was a believer, I got saved when I was 29. I really believed that my feelings would kill me. Somewhere inside, and then years later, after I got saved, I realized that that was what I was so frightened of, that my feelings would kill me. Well, we come into the body of Messiah, and we're still not dealing with feelings. So how is the believing community helping us if we're still pushing down our feelings, if we're still beating down our feelings, if we're still minimalizing our feelings? I can hear my voice is very loud right now. I'm so passionate about this. It's our feelings, you know, that drive you to drink or drive you to whatever addiction you have because you're not, we are not dealing with our feelings. Now, God wants us to bring our feelings to him and he will give us the courage. I know it wasn't until I received the Lord that I began to get the courage because he was undergirding me. He lived inside me now. His spirit lives within me, strengthens me, fortifies me. He gives me the undergirding, the strength to have courage to face the feelings. And I did begin to. And my greatest weakness has become my greatest strength. I am an advocate of the heart. And this is my biggest objection and problem with the body of Messiah that we're not dealing with feelings. Now, yes, it's not every community. Of course not. But my experience over the last 30 years is that if, if people are responding with the scripture, scripture is good and wonderful, and there's an appropriate time for scripture, Bible study or two friends getting together to encourage one another, whatever it is. But if your friend is suffering and in pain, they need another human to empathize with their heart, with their pain, which is so very beautiful to God. And if we're not equipping one another in the body of Messiah to embrace our hearts, we surely won't be able to embrace our neighbor's heart. No way. And that's why some people have experienced in leadership, people will minimize your heart or not even, you know, just treat it badly. They haven't dealt with their own. What do you expect, right, if we think about it? So, listen, if we want to have genuine compassion the way Yeshua calls us to be genuine, genuinely compassionate, we need to embrace our hearts with God. Many of us are running away from our hearts through addictions because it's just so painful. We don't know how to deal with our feelings. 
we need to come along one and along one uh, aside one another and help one another and one of the greatest ways we can do that is to allow our friend to share their heart without correcting how they speak or you know not that you're trying to but you can be subconsciously trying to stop them from sharing their emotions by giving them scripture again scripture is God's word he is the word we need it but they're no not in every moment no we know what our Bible says you know I know what my Bible says but if I'm suffering and I need another human being to relate to me in my heart that's what I need I don't need a scripture I have a Bible I love my Bible but we're not just spirit we read the word to feed our spirit man but we're also heart and the spirit of God lives in our heart so we need to be healthy all around body mind soul and spirit so it just it upsets me so much because if we had an addiction we came into the church we received Yeshua now we're still not dealing with our feelings well like a dry drunk you know a dry drunk means it's a person who's no longer in there no longer manifesting and acting out in their addiction but they have not dealt with their feelings and you you can hear people have said I liked him better when he was drunk because he was kinder because with some drunks they're very angry when they stop drinking look out so um we've got to deal with our feelings and get around people get into a community of people who are wanting to embrace their one-of-a-kind beautiful heart that god has given to them so beautifully fashioned by the maker himself if we want to affect change in this world we need to number one embrace our hearts with god let god heal our hearts so that we can be a beautiful wonderful incredible encouragement to other people let's get healed and let's get away from communities that are pushing down our hearts because they haven't embraced their own and they refuse to this is where the world you know we use that expression outside the body of messiah non-believers I feel are ahead of because they understand there are therapists and counselors people understand not dealing with your feelings suppressing your feelings this is what causes people to act out in addictions so let's embrace our one-of-a-kind hearts let's take the little boy or girl that we shoved in a closet our own little boy or girl shoved in a closet and locked the door and threw away the key because we were in so much pain we didn't know how to handle our pain we literally like separated uh we um what's the word i want to use we're fragmented we have left our little boy or girl locked in a closet and just tried to learn how to be an adult and our brokenness of our little boy or girl has never been addressed and we need to be put back together again by the father himself and we need to respond to god today and we need to say god please go into those broken places of my heart and heal me like no one else can you can be a blood washed born again child of god and have no healing we have to allow God into those broken places. So, Father, pray this prayer with me if you like. Father, would you please come into those dry places in my heart? I know I'm saved, but I want you to heal my heart, Lord. Would you heal my heart? I invite you in. I give you my heart. Heal my heart, God, in the name of Yeshua. God bless you from his resting place forever. Yerushalayim.